it's cool to see you at the top tier of what I think is, you know, well, some of the best well, of the best. You know, you've got so many now, but what, what's uh, your favorite maybe that stands out? Oh, shoot. <laughs> we got categories. Yeah, now. okay. Uh, All right. Well, I mean, I don't know about you, but I could, I could sit in a group of five-year-olds or 50-year-olds and talk about what we do, and they're yeah. all fascinated. Did find a, a coin. Mm-hmm. I, I believe your girlfriend found a f- couple, which is great. Yeah. I hope you didn't flick them in the water for me to find. Ah, <laughs> no, trust me, we do not do that. Yeah. Yeah. What's What's next? What's your future? Where, where are you going to take this? Welcome to The Outdoors with Carl Allen. This is our new podcast. Not that there aren't enough in the world already. I have many very interesting people that will visit me, whether it's about Walker's Key and our fishing adventures, or our exploration fleet and treasure hunting, or even our land in Tennessee for hunting. So I figured why not sit down with these folks and let them tell their story. Please tune in, like, and subscribe, and follow on all social media platforms. Welcome to another episode of Outdoors with Carl Allen. Today we have another special guest, uh, Jake Kohler, uh, a.k.a. Scuba Jake, a.k.a. D. All My D. Yep. Do I got that? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, you well, got it right. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for having it's, me. It's, uh, <laughs> it's great to have you. Um, talk a little bit about how we met. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went to Jacksonville for, or excuse me, was it uh, St. Augustine? Yeah. That, uh, what was that? We were the seventeen fifteen. Yeah, a little treasure show. Treasure show. Yeah. Uh, I was presenting, mm-hmm. and you come running up to me at some point. And I'm like, oh, man, who's this guy? And I, and I, I said, man, I know I've seen you somewhere. Yeah. And and then Brendan says, well, that's Scuba Jake. And I go, okay, yes. And I had seen a bunch of your stuff. And uh, for those of you that don't know, because there is a lot that do, he is massive on YouTube. You get millions of hits on on things. And. Uh, love watching what you're doing. We're fellow uh, treasure hunters. Yeah, of course. Uh, you're, you found some amazing things. I, I saw that show about the amethyst. Yeah. Which we find out here sometimes. Yeah, I've seen and, it firsthand. And that that's cool to to see that. But let's start off by, um, you know, you're a pretty young guy. So, where where are you from? How'd you get into all this? And and I just I'm sitting here in awe, going, how did you get so big? I mean, you literally have hundreds of millions of views. In your career now so so go ahead this show's about you yeah <laughs> so yeah yeah my name's jake aka scuba jake or d almighty but you know i started making youtube videos a long time ago i think 2011 and i woke up every day tried to make gaming content at the time and i mean every day i'd upload a video work really hard just wasn't working for me and uh, i think six years went by i never made a hundred dollars a month and you know my family believed in me i i Jeez. wanted it more than life and i was just obsessed about it and then one day i decided to go fishing in my hometown of columbus georgia columbus georgia yeah, yeah. on the chattahoochee river yeah. and you know lures can be pretty expensive so every time i lost a lure i was like wow okay there, there goes you know seven dollars <laughs> or fifteen dollars you know and sometimes they're really expensive and at one point, I was borrowing change from my little sister. I'd put little IOUs in her coin jar. I'd take the coins and then I'd use that. But once that ran out, I was like, okay, uh, I'm gonna put my goggles on and see what's underwater. And uh, the size of this table that we're sitting at is probably 15 lures and most of them are rusty, but it was just fun to wow. go collect them. Wow. And then uh, next thing you know, I found a GoPro and I tried my best you know, to give it back to that person for free. And then around the corner was my first gun. And when I found that and I uploaded it on YouTube, that was my first viral video. It reached yeah. a million views in less than 24 hours. And then someone re-uploaded that on Facebook, and I think it reached a billion views in a week. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. <laughs> so I used that. Uh, I and, do remember yeah. some of that, actually. Yeah, I, that's, you know? that's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, I just took it day by day. And I whatever I found was the video. It didn't matter. Treasure's kind of what you make it. You know, uh, you're a big inspiration to me going out here looking for, mm-hmm. you know, what we may call real treasure. But me, you know, I'm out there looking for the dingy weapons or maybe iPhones or GoPros or rings. And, you know, the moral of the story is picking up trash and returning things back to the owner. That's another uh, side benefit of what you do. I guess kind of what we do. We're we're picking up some trash out there. So, you know, we love what we're doing. But so was the was the lure? Was that your first video? Yeah. Yeah. No. So it wasn't my first video. I remember I made a lot of gaming content, but that was my first treasure hunting experience. So we went out, we found a bunch of lures and then. I think the next day I went out, and when, when I found that weapon, I handed it into the police. Did you? That really just kind of skyrocketed everything. So wow, I used that hype to just keep it going and show the world what, what we can find in the Chattahoochee. 
in the Chattahoochee. Oh my yeah. God. yeah. So um, whereabouts is Chattahoochee? Uh, Columbus, Georgia. Oh, all the way down there. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I remember up in Atlanta, we lived in Atlanta for a mm-hmm. while. We used to run the rapids up the Chattahoochee mm-hmm. around Atlanta there. But but when you turn the, what, what became of the gun? Did anything ever come of that with the police? You know, I think at the time they didn't give me an update. Uh, you know, I don't think. You know, they just probably didn't bother. But um, over time, every time I find weapons, I kind of became friends with police officers. And sometimes they'd tell me certain things like, hey, this gun's stolen or possibly using a crime. Or, you know, they'd give me a nod. They can't tell me. But, you know, when someone was murdered, they'd, they'd be like, hey, the weapon was thrown in a canal and you yes, found that uh, weapon. It so. wasn't mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just found it. <laughs> so, yeah, man, it's just so much fun to go out there and look for anything. And like I said, that video just finds you. Yeah, Damn, that's where yeah. it all I saw this one where you had found a bunch of pearls. Mm-hmm. Is that where was that? Pearls, pearls. Uh, yeah, there was. Uh, I don't know what that one was, but you have found a bunch of coins. I know and yeah, yeah, so whatever. Coins. Yeah, you know, you know, like I, a lot of people don't know this, but when you type in magnet fishing, metal detecting stuff like that, there's a million videos on YouTube. But yes. when I started back in 2016, I didn't invent it, but we kind of pioneered the movement of treasure hunting on the space. You know, there wasn't many videos of metal detecting or, you know, magnet fishing or crystal hunting or fossil hunting. Right. So every category we tried to max out, tried to find the biggest and best things. And to me, you know, it's, it's not really about selling anything. Um, it's just about giving back everything. And, and I, I don't like... I just try to uh, just go on a great adventure, and I tell the people I don't need to keep anything. I'm just there to have fun and record a good adventure because my video is a treasure. Wow, wow. That's, yeah. that's neat. So what do you think, uh, you know, you've got so many now, but what, what's uh, your favorite maybe that stands out? Oh, shoot. we got categories. <laughs> yeah, you know? okay. Uh, all right. Well, what's your favorite category, man, first of all? <laughs> I, I just love, man, I love every Hopefully it's out here now. You've had yeah. quite a day out here, so we'll see. Yeah, you know, as for real treasure hunting you know shipwreck salvaging uh this is top tier uh this is this will never i'll I'll never break this in my entire life like this is an experience of a lifetime and i'm very grateful thank you for having me oh yeah Yeah. um you know like i said treasure is what you make it i'd say one of my favorite treasured experiences that i hold on to is uh when i granted a young boy named braxton nine years old his wish his final wish for a make a wish he passed away but uh, we took him out, and he became the greatest treasure hunter uh, for the day. Did he? Yeah, oh, yeah. Good for you. That's and that's uh, you can do. So, yeah, like I said, you know, like treasure that. is like what you make it, man. It can be the experiences, the finds, uh, anything. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know about you, but I could, I could sit in a group of five-year-olds or fifty-year-olds. Mm-hmm and talk about what we do and yeah. they're all fascinated yeah, you know it, it doesn't matter what age for me is if yeah. you enjoy what i enjoy doing uh, it's just it's super easy it just clicks yeah mm-hmm. all right what do you think uh let me categorize a little better what's your most uh, rewarding maybe i guess that one maybe you just that was mentioned. probably my most rewarding like okay, how about most fun how about that one all right uh, <laughs> shoot, what do we have Man, I'll just, I'll tell you some I shocking. I know there's so many. I, know, I do. Yeah. yeah. Let, let me start off with like maybe most shocking finds okay. uh, before we get into some right. of my favorite treasures. Perfect. Uh, so shocking. I remember when I first started scuba diving in the Chattahoochee, I remember you're going to find a bunch of weapons and things like that. But, you know, around the corner, you might find a phone or two. But uh, I'd say the most shocking was when I found a black box of human ashes. It was human remains, but I didn't know what it was. Uh, it looked like a, a bag of cement. And then I turned it over, and I flipped the bag over, and it said a name. And, you know, at the time, I was like, whoa, that's pretty... That's Did you think nothing. somebody had thrown that intentionally? Yeah, you know, in the movies, they usually kind of spread the ashes out. But I guess someone just threw just it over. Threw but bag. I don't know. I've never found anything like that. So we called the police, and they told us just to put them back in the water. So I put them back, put a rock on top, so another treasure hunter couldn't find them. So. <laughs> well. And then uh, down, down by that way, there was a bridge, and I found... Uh, it wasn't 100% confirmed, but it was a human leg bone. And uh, uh, no flesh or anything, just a bone. Sure, so. So you find stuff like that, and then I'd say some of my favorite treasures. We went metal detecting up in Michigan. Someone lost their ring. Yeah, when they went down on one knee to propose, it fell off the pier. I told them uh, I'll go up. I do everything for free for these people. And my oh, family, nice. we organize all around the world. When people lose something, they email us, and we put it on the map. So let's just say I'm in a random state or country, and I need a video. We could be like, oh, this person lost a wedding ring. Let's go help them out. So, yeah, we flew up to Michigan, and uh, it was a fun experience. We dropped down, got the ring, and then he proposed again. So stuff like that, it's just super fun to see. Um, like I said, you know, I don't, like, I, don't, I don't need to keep anything, but it's really cool to see a final outcome yeah. like that. So how do you manage your schedule? What is it just on demand, or is it yeah. on a whim, or what? You know, it's just by feel, I'd say, for the most part. You can plan a little bit, but it's just, you know, I may upload – 
a metal detecting video, you know, today, and let's just say it does really good, I'll go out and metal detect maybe for the next week. I'll just kind of pick and choose my certain spots that I think would do really well. Or mm -hmm. if it kind of flopped, I'd be like, okay, let's do some magnet fishing or scuba diving in the river to see what we may find with just our eyeballs. So it's just by feel, because sometimes you can have a perfect video, yeah. just like the one we recorded <laughs> oh, on this yeah. trip, and yeah, it just flops, just... and you're like, what the heck? And so, it's, yeah. Yeah, I definitely think that, uh, you know, little things can happen all the time. But so you just have a small crew. Yeah, yeah. So my crew consists of my mom, my dad, my sister, Joseph, and my girlfriend, Kendall. So awesome. I retired my family. They helped me out with everything, and I like to keep everything pretty tight. Yeah. Uh, you know, who more to trust in your mom with money? And then, uh, uh. yeah, <laughs> my dad helps out with some apparel <laughs> stuff. And uh, You know what? We're going to get your mom on here, get yeah, the real she, story. That's <laughs> no, no, it really is. <laughs> You know, my mom, she's a sweetheart, man. Uh, I, I wouldn't be in a position where I'm at without my family. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, I believed in myself, but I, looking back, I was pretty naive to think I could do it. Uh, I mean, it's just this, for everything to line up was pretty ridiculous. Um, you know, I, I worked really hard, but I think there's a little bit of luck that needed to be involved to oh, be sure. where I'm at for sure. So, But yeah. family, I mean, they helped me. I wouldn't be here without them. Yeah, it's just, um, I mean... You know, watching, I've watched, uh, since I knew you were coming, I've watched quite a few. And, you know, you're really talented what you do, and you capture your audience very well. And, and it's fun. I mean, you know, you turn on what, what you're looking for. Again, yeah. uh, I could talk about it to so many people, and they just love what we do. Man, it's yeah, you know? it's so much fun. And, 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 you know, if someone doesn't like metal detecting, I'm sure they'll love magnet fishing for, you know, all the dingy stuff. Or if they don't like that, I'm sure they'll love the real treasure hunting stuff. Or, you know, it's just, yeah. like I said, there's so many cool categories in treasure hunting. And, and uh, it's cool to see you at the top tier of what I think is, you know, well, some of the best well. of the best. Like if I, <laughs> not, not, not to, like, bring money, because, you know, it doesn't really yeah. matter. But if I had, you know, uh, the free will to do whatever I want, I'd probably be looking something similar to what you got going on, but you, you're bigger than life. You got a dream set up, very inspirational. I think this is this is amazing. Oh, so, thanks, Jake. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate that. You know, you've been uh, you've been around a few days now and uh, started out the museum, I believe. Mm -hmm. Well, we had some good time at Walkers, and now you've seen the operations. So, so starting with the museum, what what were your thoughts there? What do you yeah. think? First time in Freeport, we walked around. We had a couple little drinks. And uh, I actually didn't know where I was. I turned around the corner. I was like, oh, look, there's the museum. And uh, the next day, you know, we showed up. We met, we met with Michael, right? Yeah, Michael Pateman is yeah. our chief uh, archaeologist, Bahamian archaeologist, and the curator. Yeah, Mr. Michael showed us around. And I don't know if he gave us a special treatment, but I got to try on oh, that sure gold necklace yeah. and a few other things and yeah. try to pick up, a, like, a super heavy silver bar. And yeah. it just blows your mind, like, something about that size could weigh that much. So, yeah, we got a special treatment and took some photos, and it was fun. I mean, it's, that's a, a true experience right there. That was fun. Yeah. Any Anyone who goes to Freeport should check that's it out. That's our first, you know, try. It's the first museum I've ever built. So, uh, and, you know, Freeport's struggling, as we all know, but uh, it's slowly coming back. We're, we're probably going to build a, a bigger museum in Nassau because it's where all the people are. You know, those cruise ships, I think they're getting like, like 10 cruise ships a day these days. But So then you had a chance to come up to Walker's K and, and – uh, I don't think you'd ever been there. No, no. Number one. And yeah, never been. Um, like I said, never been to Freeport either. We've been to a few spots in the Exumas, uh, yeah. Nassau, of course. But, you know, uh, the water here, beautiful. Yeah. Walkers, yeah. oh, my gosh. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> it doesn't get much prettier than that. I mean, yeah. your terrain, is you got a lot of high ground, a lot of low ground, a lot of, you know, seashell beaches. Uh, it's yeah. really amazing for anyone who wants to go and enjoy it. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Yeah, and, you know, there's all these islands. It might be something you'd think about for a future show is they, they all have mystery stories. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there was one that, uh, you know, Richard Nixon used to spend a lot of time on Walkers. And there's a story about him and B.B. Raboso at one time calling a local fisherman and taking a black box out into one of the keys and not coming back without it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I always thought about someday, you know, going to look for that. But, okay, so then I think... The big part was to get you out here because mm -hmm. this is what you do. Mm -hmm. um, you're like a, you know, incredible fish under the water watching <laughs> you. See, <laughs> you're very, very experienced. You can imagine I get all types out here. Yeah. But I could tell right from the beginning you're a true professional. And I appreciate you. You know what you're doing. Especially so. unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> but w what do you think? What do you think about how we do it? And wow, yeah. You did you did find a, a coin? Mm -hmm. I, I believe your girlfriend found a couple, which is great. Yeah. I hope you didn't flick them in the water for me to find. Ah, <laughs> no, trust me, we do not do that. Yeah. Yes. You know, I've only been. Uh, 
I guess they what, what like what's the correct term? Shipwreck salvaging, or do you call this yeah. treasure hunting? Yeah, salvaging, yeah. Ship, salvaging. treasure hunting. Yeah, I, treasure I, hunting. Yeah, we do, okay. We're treasure hunters. We're, yeah, admit yeah. it, you know, we're like yeah. alcoholics. Yes, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a treasure hunter. Yes. So I've only been treasure hunting one other time on the 1715 stuff with the oh, Queen's you schools. have done that? Yeah, okay. with my friend, Mr. Mike Perna. Oh, sure. He took us out. Yeah. We got lucky. We found, like, oh, shoot, I think, like, 20 or 30 silver coins. It was really, really, really nice. But, you know, it's kind of like I had training wheels. Mike, he would have found everything without me. But it was really cool <laughs> to experience this because you blow the hole, and everyone's like, go, go, go. You know, everyone just dives down, and then you just dive bomb. You enter the hole. And then you're just looking around. I'm looking at all the experts to make sure, okay, they're over there. They're over there. I'm going to go over here and kind of search this little bank. And then uh, next thing you know, I'm seeing people pull out coins left and right and, and uh, emeralds and things like that. Uh, and I'm like, dang, I got to get one. And finally, I got one. And, Jake, you yeah. don't know. There are times we'll go out 10, two, two weeks, sometimes a month without finding much. Oh, I and bet. so for you guys to just mm-hmm. poke your nose out here and jump down, I'm, I'm real happy with, with what we got done in basically a day and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, we got you in the submarine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was, uh... I got to talk to you about that. I hope you don't mind if we go here a little bit. But, you know, we're a submersible. Uh, first, I, unfortunately, we had a little weather, so we couldn't go too deep. But you did get the experience of, mm-hmm. of what a certified, you know, submarine is all about. It's very sophisticated. Um, tell us about your experience. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so to start things off, if, if anyone's watching, they don't know. I was on the Titanic Expedition, Mission 3. And if you're watching and you know, Mission 5 is when, you know, there's fa- five fatalities. So from Mission 3, uh, we got to dive 33 feet, and we never left the platform, but we were originally going to, but fog rolled in, and it canceled. So um, I was ready. I showed up. You know, I, my team and I, wherever we're at, we're going to do things. And, uh, you know, I'm naive to how certain things work. You know, if I, I, I'm just not going to look at something and be like, okay, that's not, that's not right. Cause I'm not a professional in that world. So I put my full trust in everyone and, and, uh, everyone's super nice. I was very grateful for the experience nevertheless. Um, but yeah, you know, that happened. Yeah. So I got home. I felt like I dodged a bullet. I felt, uh, you know, just a little sick, a little, little uneasy, and uh, I, I just couldn't quite believe it. All the headlines on, on the news, uh, like ge- like genuinely, if it went like from Mission 3, which I was on, it didn't go down until Mission 5, yep. so who knows what would have really happened yeah. if it went down yeah. when I was there, yeah. and like I said, I was there to do it. So, uh, yeah, it's really weird to read the headlines and, the con- and to think that, you know, it could have been about you, and you hear all the jokes and the memes, but these people are real people, and, you know, yeah. accidents happen, and yeah. whether or not it was certified or not, it's just... Uh, it sucks you know it is what it is and and uh, i know there's some friends aboard i'm sure that people here on your team are friends with oh yeah and, uh, i mean it's a submersible is a small world uh i knew stockton i knew hamish we were uh fellow explorers club members and i had seen him recently at, at a dinner in the oceans week and um uh, yeah i you know it's like a plane crush we need to wait until the professionals tell us what <laughs> what really happened we can all think we know what happened but we don't really know until yeah. It's fully investigated. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it's going to be a while. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I can't imagine what you <laughs> must have felt when that was uh, announced that it was missing. And yeah. then and then the five days of six days of, you know, are they still there, <laughs> you know? and Yeah, I mean, I couldn't imagine. I mean, I was inside of it, you know, just a couple weeks earlier, and I was like, wow, okay, uh, you know, it's been a minute. You know, I, I, I put myself in their shoes. If they're stuck at the bottom, you know, what would have happened? Like, how – What's, I was like, just thinking about food, thinking about how cold they are. My feet got cold just in the, the hour, hour and a half I was in there because they got damp on the dome on the front just because I put it on there and it was condensating a little bit. So, um, yeah, you know, the, the, when they lost communication, I didn't think too much of it because it was kind of finicky at the beginning, yep. even though yep. it's probably super important. Uh, but, you know, I guess the GPS, the tracking, uh, the tracking, the tracking. device, uh, once yeah. that went, I was like, okay, well, if everything went at the same time, I just thought Something's... the worst happened. Yeah. Um, but again, I'm not an expert, so I just yeah. kind of waited like everyone else. And uh, I wasn't even going to make a video about it, but, you know, I, I flew out there to, to Newfoundland to give it a shot. And, and I went on an experience of a lifetime just to get out there yeah. and, and see and to yeah. feel like what it's like to, to kind of go to the Titanic, even though I didn't get to see it. But I was over it, and that was really cool. But, um, yeah, super sad. So... You know, fast forward, you know, I didn't know anything about you and inviting me on the submarine. And then out of nowhere, like day of, I think someone asked me, do you want to go on the sub? And I was like, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. I, I, I genuinely, I was like, heck no, I am not getting in this yeah, thing. Submarine. I, I would not blame you. <laughs> and then, uh, like, I, I actually said no. I was like, no, nah, I ain't getting in that. And then uh, just because I'm naive to how submarines work, but you made me feel very comfortable. 
And I, when I hopped on board, you know, everything was moving really fast. My heart was racing. And I just saw, I mean, literally, I rolled up and you're like, let's go. I was like, yeah. shit, let's yeah. go. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. And, but like, yeah. I was like, Mr., you know, I was like, let me know. Like, tell yeah. me everything about this. Tell me how safe it is. And, and uh, just because I, you know, I was naive to, to think that the yeah. Titan was safe. I mean, I got to think some of your viewers are going to think, is he, is he lost his mind? You know, you're, yeah, <laughs> you're just yeah. getting right back on the horse. Yeah. But ours is a whole different vehicle. You know, we're not exper experimental. Mm -hmm. um, we are fully certified to carry passengers. We don't go nearly as deep. We're an acrylic bubble that goes down to 34, 3,300 feet. Mm -hmm. um, and it's great for what we do because I don't want to go that deep. <laughs> you know, we're looking for wrecks that may have gone over, over the edge. But, but no, I'm proud of you. I'm glad you got on there because right. I'm proud of myself because that was the first time I got in there since the accident. Really? And, you know, you close that hatch, and it, I definitely thought of those folks. Um, not yeah. that I was worried, but I just mm -hmm. kind of said a little prayer when I, yeah. when we closed the hatch. And, and uh, you can say what you will about them, but they were all explorers. Mm -hmm. Oh, know? yeah. You know, if yeah. you really think about it, they were pushing the limits, and you got to admire that at some, you know, a little bit. I mean, I... No one was doing that. That's so cool. So, right. yeah, when, when I was getting inside of your, your uh, sub submersible there, my heart was racing. I actually got, uh, you let, you know, you let us, uh, Kendall and I join. And, um, you know, that, that was a little bit of a fear. Uh, I did, you know, I never had that fear before. And to think I was going to conquer that real fast. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my heart was skipping beats. And then um, I get inside. Even though we weren't going too deep, I was super nervous. But, you know, once you do it, it was beautiful. I mean, I, I wouldn't pass it up just because that experience. I mean, that dome is so beautiful, and we weren't too deep. And um, you know, it was a bit emotional when we got up. Uh, I don't know if I told you, but Kendall started tearing up a little bit, and uh, I get a little emotional thinking yeah, about it. I can, you know, it's just uh, you come so close. To, I can only you did, Jake, because there's yeah, a very good possibility that I mean, that, that was you. I made a you know? video wheel uh, right before I got in the Titan to uh, my family, and I was yeah. like saying, uh, you know, what everyone could have, yeah. but. God, yeah. you don't want to do that. But well, I, like I said, I'm proud that we both got in there and and you know climb back on the horse. And I hope that when your viewer, your viewers do see it, that you know they got to watch what you posted about your experience, which has gotten I think 10 million views yeah, now or great. something. Mm -hmm. But that was you know tingling for me was to watch that. Mm -hmm. I just I really want to show everyone what what the experience was about. Yeah. Like if you were just going to go have a good time and be about that because that's probably never going to happen again in a lifetime and and uh it was just it was honestly a lot of fun. Um just just feeling it, going there and doing everything and then uh yeah, it was super shocking how everything went down, but yeah, I mean I just want to show everyone these are real people. Um, accidents happen, yeah. and just kind of get real with people. Um, yeah. They're not. Everyone thinks they're now a submarine expert. Uh, they're going to call everyone, you know, bad names and this and that. And I would never do that. But let me ask: like, if you ask anyone, I guarantee, for a free ticket to the Titanic and a submarine that costs two hundred fifty thousand dollars, you're going to say yes. And they're going to be like, "Let's go," yeah. you know. Yeah. But you know, I don't know if I'd go to the Titanic, but I, I do have this. Thing I want to go to space. So I'm waiting for who's yeah. doing it properly, but, <laughs> but but we'll see. Well, look, you've built you know this incredible following out there. Um, what's what's next? What's your future? Where where are you going to take this? Oh, shoot, man. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we're going to take day by day. We're going to yeah. keep pushing the limits. You know, my goal is to kind of right now we have we're the most followed treasure hunter in the world, yeah. and uh, I'd like to keep keep going i'm coming after you baby I'm come coming. on <laughs> take the title but yeah no we just i just want to keep pushing the limits uh whether that is finding bad stuff or good stuff or or giving things back to people uh we're going on adventures like this you know real treasure hunting it's just so much fun and there's so many categories and i just want to be the best at every one of them in a sense of content and just pushing those limits because ultimately it's just fun it's just adventures it's good memories and like i said treasures are what you make it and i value the experiences and those memories i get to look back on and you know i started making videos just to watch them just just yeah. for myself i never did yeah. it for money i just love rewatching them because it's like you know it's like a, a little video memory um yeah. that's i just did it for fun so yeah we're just gonna keep pushing it and uh try to get a boat like yours <laughs> oh well i mean I, the passion with you and your girlfriend and just what you do is, yeah. is fantastic she's a great person but where Thank did you, you get that bum joe where how did you is he holding oh, shoot, a, was man. he holding the sign up on uh, i pick him off off the street somewhere actually in, uh, atlanta yeah. 285 somewhere a long story man <laughs> so uh 
<laughs> on a real note, though, Joe, he's one of my best friends. Yes. Uh, it's hard to find someone who is going to be your right hand man, you know, yeah. cameraman, best friend, and since uh, ready to go on any adventure and capable of doing that. So Joe just got out of the military. I met him crystal hunting, and then the day after we went metal detecting, and I found a ring. And the moment I found it, like it's hard because being a uh, you know like a video content creator, like man, it's just it's so hard to be super super authentic. You know, every time you find something, you want that that one moment. But I picked yeah. up the ring, and then the moment I had the genuine smile, he took uh -huh. a picture, and uh, he framed it and gave it to me. And I thought I was like, wow, that's so nice. And then uh, I offered him a job just to come out and you know day to day to go film and uh, at that time we were grinding every single day in a sense of filming and yeah, uh, yeah he uh, he he's made me proud in the sense of a teammate yeah I mean I'm definitely kidding he's a wonderful guy I'm still reading his tattoos I haven't got all those down yet but you should uh, look at the one on his butt crack oh well definitely Man, that'd be your favorite check <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but you know what I feel sorry for the guy you need yeah. to buy him a new camera he's carrying around this old thing that was built <laughs> Like by Kodak yeah. in like the 19. I think there's still you gotta go no, get the same. film done at yeah. like CVS or something. Man, he loves it. That's his. That's his. That's actually his camera. No, I, you I'm know. kidding. We yeah, have one yeah. of those too, and it's black and white. But I thought it was funny. I was like, my God, you gotta yeah. buy a poor kid. Man, a uh, he'll always surprise me with some wild stuff. Uh, you know, he just there's just certain signature looks that people like. You know, and he'll grab a certain thing or two. Or sometimes I'll see him with yeah. these tassel jackets on. I'm like. All right. <laughs> yeah. So well, it's great. Yeah. So you guys have been friends since. Uh, hometown? No, we're not. No, we're not really friends. Uh, oh, yeah. just I'm just kidding. Of, yeah, we're friends. We've been friends for. Uh, I was right in the we beginning. Been, <laughs> <laughs> how long have we been friends, Joe? It's been four years. Four yeah, years. yeah, about four or so years. So yeah, that means awesome. Well, you guys are a great team, and and uh, you know, I think. Uh, when do you think our this video might come out. Shoot, I'm gonna send it. So I'm gonna do this one right. I'm gonna okay. send it to my editor in Canada. His name's okay. Jamie, and uh, he does a phenomenal job. Right. So I'm gonna see what he puts out. And I guess it kind of depends on his schedule. So uh, he works for a few other people, but I'm hoping uh, kind of fast. You got, uh, I, this you, got be a, you got the B tour from from Brendan of Walker. So I, got, I was. The A tour was out somewhere yeah. else, but but it should be all right. He knows a little bit about what we're doing. He didn't want to hang out with me. So, so, yeah, so um, I'm gonna block him after this trip. So here. where are you headed? What's your what's your very next uh, venture? Where, where ah, you... so we're headed home, and then okay. right when I get home, we're headed on a bachelor trip. So we're headed. Oh. Uh, my buddy Ron, oh. he's getting married, and I've never been to Mexico. And, awesome. Uh, where are you going? Honestly, I don't know. Okay, uh, I haven't even looked. We know a lot about that country. Call us if you get in any trouble. Uh, uh, security. I will. I will. So. Where am I going, KJ? She, Kendall's the the woman who books everything here. Kendall. She, it's a little south of California. Cancun. Cancun. <laughs> Calls them out. Oh, a T. No, no, not, not Tijuana. Not Tijuana. No, no, no. No, please, please don't go. go if, if you go to Tijuana, Kendall, you stay home. Man. Yeah. Shoot. No, you know, uh, Kittle, she helps me book all these things and stay in line, and, and I just focus on videos and content and adventures. So, uh, yeah, you're going to Puerto Vallarta. Oh, Puerto Vallarta's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There's a huge cliff of home. Yeah, God, it's a spectacular place. Yeah. I did the uh, zip lining there. They got, if you want to do that, it's fantastic. It's a great part of. I'm going to go there. I'm going to see the zip line. I'm just going to imagine you zipping across. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Little uh, treasure coins flopping out of your pocket. <laughs> All right. Well, D all my D. It's, yeah, uh, yeah. it's been great having you. I hope to have you back. Um, anything you want to add to my audience yeah, here to finish uh, it off? Shopwalkersk.com. Make sure you guys buy your merch. Uh, anything you want. Uh, he's doing a great thing. On, uh, look, honestly, you know, um, Mr. Allen here, he's doing a great job. He's not only finding treasure, but he's he's not – He's not being a pirate. He's actually putting it in a museum. He's giving back. Um, he's not in it for the money or the gold or anything like that. And I think that's really neat. You know, he's got everything in life that he wants. The dream life. You know, like I say, I look up to that. And uh, there's not many people that can come out here for a hobby and just find stuff and document it and share it to the world. So, I applaud awesome. you. I think that's, that's really nice. amazing. So make sure you guys check out his channel and just dig deep into it all awesome. because when you're out here, I mean, it's the real deal. I mean, Jeez. you are top-notch awesome that means a real lot from come from you jake sir this is the allen uh, experience congratulations on a, on <laughs> a great you, start in life and a good company and i hope to you know next time we meet each other you have twice as many views so Shoot. and i hope I'm to sorry. help there so. yeah, yes sir yes sir <laughs> right, thank you so much great having you brother